Hello everyone and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we are now in the playoffs. You see, like I said last episode, I had a major recording loss, which I had back in NASCAR Heat 2 as well. But I finally figured out what was causing it, so we're going to be fine now. Um, hopefully in the future anyways. But now we're at Las Vegas getting ready as we take the green flag. Um, you missed the first playoff race as well, but we're in the second playoff race of the second round. And we came into this race 17 points to the good. I got two wins in the regular season at Pocono and then Bristol. So now we are here in Las Vegas trying to fight our way into the second round. But um, hopefully we won't have a recording loss like this again. But at the same time, it's kind of um, good in a way because it's kind of pushed the season forward to where we are already now in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it here. As you see, we're on the inside of the 83 there. Um, trying to make a move under Austin Hill. He's going to kind of block me to the inside of the line, but we're already up into the top 10 at the end of the first lap here in Las Vegas. Next race will be Talladega, so it would be really nice to get a win uh, in here in Vegas, so then we could not have to worry about Talladega. But obviously, Talladega in this game isn't um, like worrisome like it would be in real life because the AI doesn't know how to crash at Talladega, so you never have to worry about getting into a big one. But right around the outside of these guys, we have a lot of speed at this track early on. I'm noticing right away we might have the speed to get a win here in Las Vegas. And that's what I'm hoping as we come to the last uh, lap of Stage 1. Uh, coming to the end of it, we're going to get P6, which I thought we could have done better. But at the same time, I mean, that's pretty decent for where we started. So I was pretty happy with that. Austin Wayne Self got your last stage point. And Justin Haley is the first guy out. Cody Coughlin won the stage. All right, we're ready to go back green here. And the green flag is back out, starting right behind Johnny Sauter, who is another playoff driver, as well as Stuart Friesen on my inside. Matt Crafton there up in third. He actually missed the playoffs. There was a lot of uh, one-time winners in the trucks this season, and I actually had to win my way in when I was, like, second in points. So that was uh, interesting. On the outside of John Hunter down the back straightaway going into three. We lost um, what one spot or two there. And we lost two spots as we try to go to the outside of Sauter. I'm going to kind of give him um, a little bit of room. He's a playoff driver. I don't want to, um, you know, ruin his race with a silly move by myself. We're not at that point in the season yet. We've got to wait for Homestead for that stuff. Trying to get a run on the outside of them. But no, he's going to move up a little bit right in front of me. He's really pushing up, but I'm going to give him a bump down the back straightaway to kind of boost his momentum. He's checking up for Brett Moffitt. Okay, we're going to force the three wide up the middle. Oh, I couldn't make it stick. We slid up a bit right behind Johnny Sauter now. I thought we were going to make it there, but it did not work at all. Now as we come towards the end of uh, stage two on the last lap, once again, you see we're going to get P6 across the line. If we can get Johnny Sauter, we will not. So six once again, um, we're going to be starting on the outside, so you see how that went on stage one start, so I don't know how that's going to work here in the last stage, but Matt Crafton won stage two, so he's not in the playoffs, so it doesn't matter to him. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Be ready. Ready. And the green flag is back out for one final time in Las Vegas, well, maybe one final time. We get up to Brett Moffat. We, I thought about going to his outside, but I decided we're going to just tuck in behind him because I remember what happened in stage one. And I don't want to lose way too many spots here. Already lost one to John Hunter. We got Ben Rhodes on my inside in the 41 truck. Over to the inside of Brett Moffat. We really have not run the inside much in this race. We got, what, 17 laps to go. So we might as well at least try it now to see what we can do. We're going to easily get past Brett Moffitt. And now we're going to get to the inside of Stuart Friesen. He is going to put on a little bit of a fight. But we should be able to get him out of turn two. Go to his door. We make a little bit of contact. A little bit of contact between two playoff drivers. The two Canadians. Get on the apron a little bit. I was out of the throttle, so that didn't really affect me, thankfully. If I was on the throttle right there, I probably would have wrecked. 
But we get clear of Friesen, and we're now in the top five for the first time of this race. Right behind John Hunter Nemechek. Um, now we come to just eight to go. You see, we got up to um, the side of John Hunter, but he was able to pull away down the straightaway. And uh, we need to try and use this outside, but it's not working um, to really good. But uh, we've certainly gained some ground. We passed John, uh, Johnny Sauter doing it, um, but the outside is just not working. And we got a caution. Okay. This could be a chance right here. We could get a really good restart. We're starting behind Cody Coffin. We, this could be what we need to have a chance to win. But the green flag is back out. It's going to be, what, a five-lap dash? It is five laps. Okay, we're not waiting around this time. we got to go for it. I'm hoping we clear the two. We're not going to clear the two. That might have been a bad idea. We're going to be stuck on the outside. Yeah, that was not good. We're going to lose um, a few spots here, to say the least. All right, we've only lost two. They are all going to run the bottom, so I'm just going to stay on the outside. Man, that two truck has a really nice paint scheme, though. Trying to hang with them, but it's not working. I really want to get clear of the two truck, but oh my gosh, we're pushing up. We're going to lose ground here. I might even hit the wall. I'm going to keep it off the wall. Brett Muffin on my inside, pretty tight too on my door. Two turns three and four. He's still hanging there on my quarter panel. At the line, it'll be just three laps to go in Las Vegas. Yeah, Brett Moffat's got the edge on me right now, but we're going to go into turn one. Try to get the best entrance we can. Pin him down the best I can to try and slow up his momentum, but I couldn't hold it down as I start pushing up the track. And now Grant Enfinger is going to be able to get to my inside. Once again, a bit of a run on the outside of Brett Moffat. Out of turn four, that's actually, we got a pretty big run actually on him. But now we just hit here two laps to go in Las Vegas. Battling for a top five finishing position. Obviously, we're not going to win now unless we get a caution and force overtime. This time we kind of pinned him down, but we pushed up and he's pushing up as well. He's going to slide up right in front of me here on the exit of turn two with Grant Enfinger uh, hanging out my quarter panel. We do clear him for a moment. But I'm not going to slide in now we will. And Brett Muffet slides up so I'm going to take full advantage. And we're going to slide down under him and get a free spot out of it hopefully. White flag in the air in Las Vegas. We have the draft from Cody Coughlin up to P5. Now can we even get Cody Coughlin? Oh we got on the apron. That'll do it. We're not getting him. Oh no. Try to hang on. We're going to kind of come down and block Grand Enfinger. I thought we could have had a chance right there, but then I screwed up. And, uh, the, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things I'm best at doing in uh, oval racing is screwing up. But we're going to come across the line. We're going to finish P5 in Las Vegas. So this is certainly, uh, it was a good performance, and it's going to certainly help um, increase my points gap. It was uh, 17 points above the cut line coming into this race after Canada. Canada didn't actually go very well. I finished like 17th. But we actually only gained one point. We're 18 to the good. Our teammate Noah Gregson is 25 out. So we're going to Talladega. I might actually have to help my teammate here to just get him into the next round. Brent Moffat, he's 49 to the good. He is um, clinched already. All he has to do is start Talladega and he will be locked in to the next round of the playoffs, which will be the round of six. Yeah, we got a lot of drivers happy about my driving. But now it is time to go to Talladega and see what we can pull off here. This will be hopefully a really fun one. I'm gonna, no, I know I have to help my teammate. So we're gonna check the playoff grid one more time for you guys. Yeah, you see it going into Talladega. We're 18 to the good. So we're not even. Uh, necessarily safe. Uh, Friesen, he's zero to, okay, I guess actually he's like 25 to the good and I'm uh, 18 plus 25, so the, the, it's kind of weird how they do it in this game, 
uh, and actually all NASCAR Heat games have been very weird how they do the playoff um, points tally um, over the cut line. I don't understand it. They need to figure that out eventually. But we are ready to go green in Talladega, starting not good at all. My, my plate qualifying is terrible, um, which is, I mean, the easiest qualifying in oval racing. I mean, all you need is just a human to turn the wheel and you will still put the fastest car in pole. But uh, we started back in almost 30th. Obviously, you see I'm making some big moves right at the beginning, trying to gain as many spots as I can. I know the first stage, we're probably not gonna get stage points, but we do have a playoff driver back here with us, which is uh, Myatt Snyder. We've gained almost uh, like three spots. We're doing really good here. And yes, that was sarcasm. On the outside of the 54 truck, Bubba Wallace has uh, won that in that truck earlier this season, but it ended up being cucumbered. Wow, we lost a lot of ground out of turn four. This is not looking good at all. A little bit of contact there with the truck on my inside. I don't really care about that guy. He's a back marker. It's a meaningless truck. Last lap in the stage now. We have worked our way up to 20th right in front of uh, Stuart Friesen, another playoff driver. So I think we've passed two playoff drivers right now. Um, I believe Friesen is currently out of the cutoff. And we know Gregson, he's out of the cutoff. He's in a must-win situation. As we exit turn four, get ahead of Corbin Forrester, we're up to 19th, and it looks like that's exactly where I'm going to finish this stage, unless I can get a run on Greenfield. He's going to push up as I went to move to his outside. He did the same thing, so we kind of got into the back of him, so we're going to finish stage one in P19. Let's see where our teammate Noah Gregson finished. He finished P3. That's not bad. So he, he certainly got himself, what, eight stage points, so he's in decent shape, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. He still has to win this race. Um, I think he came into this uh, race like 18 out, so he's got a lot of work to do. It might have even been more. It was like 20-something. But uh, we are green for the stage two from P19, and really I've noticed a trick at plate racing in NASCAR Heat 2 as well as this game is if you just ride the bottom line at a plate track, eventually you're going to work your way to the front because the guys will get towards the front and they'll always shuffle towards the top for some reason and then they'll lose positions and then the next guy on the inside uh, goes forward and then he shuffles up, so it, it's, re it's really weird. I mean, there's so many things in this game that could still be improved. But we got up to 16th there on this restart. Not going to go with the outside. You see, there's not many trucks in that line. Um, right now, there's a big gap between the outside and then the next pack of the outside cars as I screw up and get hung out on the outside. We're going to try my best to get back down because we got problems if I can't. Maybe in front of Corbin Forrester. I'm just trying to get down enough to where they check up. Regan Smith, no, that's not Regan Smith. That's Timothy Peters. We're okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get down behind Grant Enfinger. We're back into the inside line, and that was able to uh, help me get back up to P14, and on the last lap now of stage two, try and get stage points, but uh, once again, that's definitely not gonna happen. To the inside of Clay Greenfield, though, as we come to the checkered in stage two, I just wanna start on the inside for the next stage. That's all I need. Right behind Matt Crafton. Do I want stage points? No, I don't. And we finish stage two in 11th, so we get to start on the inside, which is really good. Let's see where our teammate uh, Gregson, he finished sixth in the stage, so he's going to be starting on the outside, which is not good. I'm going to try and let him in if we get to him, and then we're going to get him to the bottom, and then we're going to push him for like the rest of the race. Green flag is back out. Right behind Matt Crafton, who's in P9. Just 12 laps to go in Talladega. 
12 laps to go in the first round of the playoffs. Outside line with a, an amazing start, as you can see. I'm already letting Crafton get a gap between himself and me because I want to help Gregson here, but Gregson, he's not able to even get close to being able to come down to that gap because he now has a run on the outside line. As Joe Nemechek way out on the outside gets hung out to dry, he is going backwards quickly. On the inside of uh, Justin Fontaine, we are in the top 10 for the first time this race, so it's taken me 15 laps just about to uh, get myself in this position. But now, a little bit later on lap 16, you see Gregson has a chance to get to the bottom right in front of me. There's enough of a gap. He slides down in front of me, and that's exactly what we needed. Now, the whole race, I just kind of stayed on his bumper, and uh, we push right to the lead. As you can see, we are now just a lap and a half left in this race. Gregson leading, and I just keep on pushing him in P2. I'm not going to try and win this race. I mean, I know that could be a little controversial, maybe, in NASCAR, but... Um, I, I feel like helping my teammate is the best thing to do in this situation. I mean, I'm a big Formula One fan, so I kind of know uh, what helping your teammate is all about. So we're going to do exactly that here in Talladega, right behind Greg's, and we're not going to leave his bumper. Well, I mean, we're, clearly we've left his bumper now as we hit the white flag. Just give him a bump into turn one. I hope he's not mad at me after this because we're giving him bumps. He's probably going to hate me. I mean, Gregson is my favorite uh, driver in the truck series, so I don't mind pushing him to a victory as we try to hold off the truck behind us. Which is, uh, I don't remember who that is, so. Oh, is it? It's Clay Greenfield. That's who it is. But now through turns three and four, I pushed up the track a little bit, but we do get down in time. Out of turn four for one final time. Noah Gregson hanging on to the lead. No one's going to be able to touch him through the tri-oval. In a must-win situation, we pushed our teammate Gregson to the front, and he didn't look back. Gregson will win Talladega. And behind me, something went wrong with Greenfield, but we get P2, which is not the first time we finished second this season. We've done it quite a few times. Um, but uh, we're going to be in the next round, and now Gregson is definitely going to be in the next round, so I'm really happy to push him to victory. But that means someone else got knocked out. So let's, uh, we got to see who that was. It was, uh, I guess it was Friesen, okay. Or was it Endfinger? It was one of them. Friesen out by 12. Maya Snyder out by 54. He got destroyed. Gregson would have been out by 8 points if he, uh, didn't win. So he gained a lot of points, though, in this race. But, yeah, you see, we have advanced to the round of 6 in the playoffs. Uh, so next episode will be all three races, uh, Texas, uh, Martinsville, Texas, and then ISM Raceway. So we'll have those in the next episode, and uh, hopefully we can get a win at Martinsville. That'd be nice. I mean, as long as we make the Final Four and have a chance to win the championship, that's all I want. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, episode, uh, drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. That would all be very appreciated. So um, yeah, next will be Martinsville. I will see you guys once we get to there, and uh, hopefully we can get a good finish out of it and make the final four. So I will see you guys in the next episode. We start the next round one point, apparently, to the good, and Moffat's the only one safe. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody.